Hello, and welcome to the Heat Software short video series. My name is Renee Gonzalez, and I'm joined here by my colleague, Duncan, Duncan Macklin. And today we're gonna to talk about reporting needs uh, that we could provide to our customers within a configuration manager environment. So Duncan, when I'm speaking with customers, part of the challenges that they have is compliance reporting. Mm -hmm. Um, out of the box, Microsoft does a really good job on reporting on Microsoft products, but what about third-party products? Well, obviously, with out a solution like ours, they're not able to, but that's one of the big pain points for these organizations is they're challenged with being able to demonstrate security posture for the entire organization for both internal audits and external audits. So these organizations that have quarterly annual audits performed by accounting firms or even partner organizations that they work with will require that as part of the mutual agreement. So they're getting dinged nowadays because while most organizations have a really good grasp on their Microsoft updates and being able to report on their compliance, it's the third party products that they're getting dinged on in these audits because they're not able to, you know, patch these systems or being able to uh, demonstrate their compliance with their uh, updates. So with our solution in place, it provides them a single pane of glass to be able to uh, run these reports and being able to produce the artifacts necessary for these audits. So let's actually take a look at it. So, you know, <clears throat> out of the box, there's about 420 something reports that Microsoft provides and they're broken down into categories. So I'm looking here at the software updates category and this one's specific to the compliance, as you can see if I uh, expand my screen here. Whoops, there we go. Uh, the compliance report. So I'm looking at compliance for updates by vendor month and year. So if I run this report right now in a typical environment, <clears throat> all you're going to see is Microsoft as a publisher or a local publisher, which is using dev or the system center updates publisher. However, with our solution in place, after I choose my collection, you can see here all the different values for the specific vendors. So if I need to demonstrate the security posture of the organization specific to Adobe updates, I can do that. Or I can run the report with all values as the selection and be able to see all the updates uh, that are applicable, which ones are required, installed, etc. But you can see here that we have Adobe and if I scroll down, you're going to start seeing stuff from Apple. Keep scrolling, there's some Microsoft updates. So we have a single report that provides the entire environment and what's being patched, what the compliance state is with these updates. But the great thing about the back end, because it is SQL, we are using SQL reporting services, so we can do things like subscriptions. I don't even have to be involved in this. I can set up a subscription for our internal auditors that they get up every month a PDF attachment by email with this kind of information in there. But also because it is SSRS based, we can write our own reports, right? So here's you know, a collection of reports that I've been able to author and bring into the environment that show uh, more of a dashboard type view of what our compliance state is with you know, some nice graphics and, and uh, you know, charts and stuff, the things that senior management really looks for. And you guys out there as SCCM admins, you know, this is what we're having to provide, you know, to senior management to demonstrate what is it that you're doing with the system? Is it effective? Are you actually meeting the expectations of our auditors? And can you demonstrate that? Well, now you can bring this capability into your own environment. Thank you. And that concludes today's session, and we look forward into you joining us into future sessions.